Hello and welcome all you basketball fans. It's Friday night and you know what that means. It's boys basketball night on the network. We're here at Austin Town Fitch High School, home of the Falcons, as we get ready to take to the skies in this final regular season matchup with the Alliance Aviators coming to town from the Eastern Buckeye Conference. Aviators 14 and seven on the year. Fitch is 11 and 10. Going through the starters today, first for the visiting Aviators. Kevon Davis, Ramir Hawkins, J.R. Jackson, Brendan Zerbrug, and Diego Allen. The other way for the Falcons, it's Gianni Maley, Marcel Finkley, Allen Hill, Carter Owens, and Deshaun Vaughn. Both these teams, getting their final regular season test underway prior to the start of the tournament. Alliance, the three seed in the Division II Northeast One District, that's the Canton District. Fitch number 16 in the Division I Northeast One, the Kent District. As Ramir Hawkins brought it up after Alliance wins the initial toss, backing down. So much power, look at this. Allen with a shot attempt but couldn't finish. Diego Allen poses so much strength and power on the boards, just a beast to deal with in the paint. Gonna be an interesting defensive matchup for the Falcons going forward. Carter Owens gets it, blow by on defense, lines up a shot in and out, it goes on the attempt. Rebounded and running down the floor, Ramir Hawkins kicks over to that wing, swing it opposite wing, faking to the left, kicking back to the right now, Hawkins has it again. Deshaun Vaughn defensively on Hawkins. Hawkins kicks over to the right. J.R. Jackson and a whistle blown on that. And they're gonna call that. Uh, and Deshaun Vaughn. First foul tag for either team at 7.05 here in the first. Keep it with the Aviators. They're gonna be inbounding on their side of the floor. J.R. Jackson right back to Hawkins in that corner. They feed to the low post. Now right back out to the wing. Finding a lane, going up with it off the glass. It's no good wide right. Able to get the board, Diego Allen. With a turnaround, soft touch, jumper, and a bucket. Alliance with the first strike. 2-0 Aviators. 6.35, kickoff. Carter Owens passes up the three, dribbles to the top. Over to Marcel Finkley, swing over to Deshaun Vaughn. Vaughn. Three-pointer off the mark, it's short. Rebounded and running the floor. Here comes Alliance, coast to coast on the take. It is blocked. Defensively, Falcons get it to Maley. Gianni Maley, oh, jukes his way into the paint. Pass, multiple defenders, and with a nice finish on the fast break opportunity. Both teams striking with a bucket. It's 2-2 here in the early going. Lining up the three-point shot in the corner, splashing it home. Kevon Davis. Strikes from distance, and the Aviators back up by three now. Gianni Maley into the dribble, picks up the big man, Diego Allen, gets him off the jumper, but can't finish bit strong off back iron. Alliance so dangerous in the fast break, tosses up the shot, Diego Allen, the cleaner, can't clean that one up for a bucket. Had the rebound, the second chance look. Fitch clenches the rebound after the second chance attempt. Owens to Marcel Finkley. Finkley into his dribble, switches to his left, off the screen of Hill, stops, pops from the free throw line, too strong, rebounded Aviators. Here comes Alliance. Ramir Hawkins dishes to the wing. Was it tipped? No, that was not. They say off of Alliance last. Do the officials and give it back to the Falcons. Finkley to inbound. Alliance to pick him up in the half court defensively. Gianni Maley with the dribble off the screen. Oh, what a quick first step. Gianni Maley, speed burst past the entire Aviator defense for a bucket that time. Ramir Hawkins tries to do it the other way. Aviators won a foul call. Officials didn't give it to him that time. Three-pointer, Deshaun Vaughn. Flat off the back iron with that attempt. 440 and ticking. Quarter number one, Aviators lead by one. Oh, Diego Allen looking to stretch the diff distance and he does, gets a friendly bounce off front iron and finds a bucket. Allen with four points now. 
here in the first. Carter Owens in that corner, feeds to Finkley. Finkley into his dribble now. Allen Hill sets the screen, picking up Diego Allen, now over to Gianni, now feeding to Deshaun. They get to Allen Hill, free throw line jumper, and he splashes it home. Exchanging of buckets again, and the Alliance still leading by one with possession. Get it, quick pass, and the bucket to finish. Nice setup, nice pass, nice finish, Brendan Zerbrug. 9-6, Aviator lead. Carter Owens from that wing, looks to back down, hand off to Vaughn. Vaughn goes off the screen of Carter Owens, gets it right back to Owens, and now to Gianni Maley. Setting up in the half court, Owens on the opposite wing now. Zerbrug on him defensively, out to Finkley, swing it right back to Maley. Opposite wing now. Deshaun Vaughn gets to the top of the key, moving jumper, can't get it from distance. Offensive rebound, Owens, and Fitch sets up in the half court once again. Marcel Finkley on the opposite wing, goes into the dribble with his left, tosses over top to Allen Hill, finds a lane, gets a foul called, and will go to the line for a pair. They're going to attack that foul onto Brendan Zerbrug. That's his first. Only Alliance's first. Both teams just a single foul. Through almost five minutes of play here in the first, some clean defense being played by both varsity squads. So with the timeout, let's look at our standings here on the floor. Going into it, we see Camfield and Warren Harding knotted up six and two in that AAC for the boys. Fitch, 11 and 10, ended up five and three in the conference. A good year overall for the Falcons. Alliance near the top two. They're splitting it with Carrollton this year in the Warriors, but Alliance right in the thick of it again this year. Another great season for the Aviators over in that Eastern Buckeye Conference. Great test for both schools too to match up with one another just prior to a tournament. Alliance gonna play the winner of 14 Canton South and 22 Geneva in that Division II Canton District. As Fitch would play the winner of 18 Uniontown Lake and seven Glen Oak. Allen Hill makes his first of two attempts. It's a two point game, one possession separating these two squads. Second attempt splashes home as well and has really gotten good from that free throw line, Allen Hill. Ramir Hawkins. Over to Zerbrug. Zerbrug feeds to the opposite wing, finding a lane, getting inside and can't finish the and one attempt, but the foul called. And a nice take, Marquavian McClendon. As Finkley gets tagged with his first. McClendon for a pair, looking to separate the Aviators' lead. First attempt, doesn't find the net, looking to straighten it out for the second. Quarter number one, 2.46 to go here in the first from Austin Town Fitch High School. McClendon splits the pair and the Aviators are back up by two. Presses on defensively by Alliance, looking for the trap, got Gianni Merrily in air. Alex Hill checking in and feed from his brother Allen Hill. Nice passing by Fitch, and the game is knotted up at 10 apiece. Three-pointer Zerbrug says, give me that lead right back. Wing three, Zerbrug, a dead-eye shot, and a three-point lead for Alliance. 2.15 first quarter. Gianni Maley, oh, another nice burst of speed out to Finkley. Finkley, the mid-range jumper, too strong. Rebound, Zerbrug. Zerbra goes into the dribble himself, takes it the other side, dishes over to his left, looking for the pass. Right back to Zerbra, trying his hand at the three again. That one left a little short. There to pick him up, though, J.R. Jackson with the bucket. And it's a five-point lead for Alliance. Marcel Finkley, oh, almost finds a take the other way. Nice take by Finkley. Unfortunate finish. Rolling in the lane, blocked. Allen Hill denies it the other way. 
Wow, these two teams like a speeding bullet. So fast they play back and forth against one another. Maley tries to pass it right there to intercept it. Hawkins, or excuse me, no, that was McClendon. McClendon got the steal. Can't get the bucket on the other end. Under 90 seconds to go, quarter number one. Finkley and the Falcons trailing by five. Looking for some offense before the end of the quarter. Finkley steps into the mid-range, leaves that one a bit short. Still trying to find his range, Finkley, in that mid-range game. McClendon, they get it over to Hawkins. Ramir Hawkins now sets up in the half court right near the mid-court stripe. Calls Zerbrug, dishes over to his right, right back to Hawkins. 48 seconds, some passing around the horn. J.R. Jackson tries to take it with his left, has it blocked, out of bounds. Last touch by the Falcons at 39.8. Keep it with the Aviators as Alliance going to be inbounding now. Kevon Davis. Gets the inbound. J.R. Jackson got trapped, got it into Diego Allen, the big man now. Oh, nice pass, Diego Allen, but a better block defensively. Another offensive board, though, by Alliance, and they get another chance. Crack at it from distance. That one doesn't fall. Good defensive stand by Fitch. Despite the multiple offensive looks by the Aviators, Fitch able to hold through defensively in that go-around. Final 10 seconds and ticking. Fitch looking to trim their deficit. Five seconds and ticking, Finkley with it. Got to get a shot off, Carter Owens hoists and finds the mark from distance. Cuts into that lead, it's just a two point game after a quarter of play here from Austin Town Fitch High School. Boy oh boy, he's making a career out of that despite only being a sophomore. Carter Owens finds another buzzer beater three. We go into our second eight minutes from Austin Town Fitch High School after a award from our sponsors right after this on YSNlive.com. I'm Tracy, and I can make your car buying experience as simple as finding a vehicle you love, getting you approved for financing that works for you, and giving you the customer service you deserve. Find out how easy purchasing a vehicle can be this tax season at Greenwood Chevrolet. Local teams are heating up the hardwoods, and you can keep up with all the action on and off the court with Five Guys Hoop News, all season long on 21 Sports. HBAC causing havoc? Has your furnace gone mad? Commercial or residential 24-7? Call your hometown hero. Call Mighty Mike. Welcome back, everybody. We get ready for the start of the second quarter here on YSNlive.com. Ty Bartell joining you along with the call as we have taken to the skies for this Friday night of boys basketball night on the network with the Alliance Aviators visiting the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Carter Owens cutting into the Falcon deficit with a three-point buzzer beater to end the first. It's a 15-13 Aviator lead after one. Fitch to start with possession. It's Deshaun Vaughn, Jr., and gets over to Carter Owens. Owens feeds to Finkley. Now swing over Alex Hill from the baseline. Kicks out. Vaughn with a three-point. Little shy of the mark. Fitch looking for the lead. Couldn't find it. Aviators looking to add to it now. Gets the pass in. Diego Allen has it stripped. Walking and tiptoeing down the baseline. Marcel Finkley clinches the steal. Off the hands. And Deshaun Vaughn loses the handle for the turnover. And the Aviators going to be inbounding. It's Kevon Davis. The touch bounce pass into Ramir Hawkins and Alliance going to work offensively. Diego Allen kicks out. Three-pointer lined up on a look, but left it short that time. Darius Rodriguez. Finkley tries his hand and finds his distance in the mid-range from the elbow. We're knotted back up here at 15 apiece. Fight for Alliance. They are able to keep possession. Hawkins dishes over to Kevon Davis. Davis right back over to McClendon now. Passing around the perimeter, feeding inside near the block. Right back out to the top. Top of the key, no look bounce pass to the right. Still no lane to be had. 
Diego Allen now has it, feeds it, finds an open look from the wing, overshot it though, and the ball out of bounds. They call it Austin Town basketball at 641 here in the second. Pitch to inbound as Cam Jaros getting some of his first minutes. He inbounds it in. And Jaros, no doubt, getting some minutes to try to battle the big man, Diego Allen, and just have that kind of paint presence in for the other side as well. Going to be an interesting defensive battle, and curious to see how many minutes Coach Beanie elects to utilize Cam Jaros in this matchup with a very elite post player in Allen. Tried to pass it through, and Allen able to pick it, running the floor. Look at Diego Allen. Oh, man, big man has some moves as well. And he can handle the rock, no doubt. Alliance, though, just lit on the bucket in these extra attempts, trying their hand at three. That one misses the mark. It's out of bounds. Back to the Falcons. Credit the Aviators. They're getting plenty of offensive looks off these offensive boards. But like I said, a lid on the bucket right now for Alliance as trying to find some net with all the looks. Still tied up at 15. Tick under six minutes to play, first half. Alex Hill. And yes, he shuffled the feet. Kind of walked with the pass that time, that pivot foot. Had a little bit of movement, turnover at 545, back to Alliance. J.R. Jackson goes to Ramir Hawkins. Nice quick pass, Diego Allen's on the big man. Nice defense by Cam Jaros. Jaros kicks, pump fake. Deshaun Vaughn got some clearance, couldn't finish though. Nice athletic rebound, Kevon Davis, full court pass attempt. Alliance keeps it alive, right back, Ramir Hawkins. Burst of speed, pass to Allen from the baseline. No shot to be had there. Alliance wants some contact to be called. And a technical foul to be addressed. Alliance looking for the defensive foul that time. Might have had a legitimate complaint on that one too. Of course, officials, we always say, have the best view and the best looks at it right there on the action. And of course, hard for us to determine if it's contact with the hand of the ball, but looked like there could have definitely been a legitimate complaint on that ordeal from for the Aviators. Deshaun Vaughn gets it to the corner. Finkley keeps it alive. Four forty-eight, low scoring second quarter of play so far. Allen Hill, bounce pass across the lane. Marcel Finkley can't find the mark. Rebounded. Zerbrug. Here comes Alliance the other way. Pass though, off the mark, but it is tipped out of bounds off the Falcons at four thirty-seven. Keep it with Alliance. Zerbrug to inbound just underneath his own basket. Quick substitution coming in. It's Marquavia McClendon checking in. Kevon Davis checking out. Zerbrug, nice quick pass and bucket. Off that cut, Ramir Hawkins, make no mistake about it, found a lane, took advantage of it, 17-15 Aviators. Maley to Jaros, now back out to Finkley. Jaros sets the screen, Finkley looked inside to Jaros but had to feed over to Maley and they're gonna reset in another half court try. Maley. Quickly speeds in for the bucket. So quick on that first step. Late reaction from the Alliance defense. Couldn't get to it in time and a quick steal. Looking to run it back. Falcons coast to coast. Marcel Finkley retakes the lead for Fitch. Now 19-17 Austin Town. Back and forth we go. J.R. Jackson, Zerbrug. He had a three pointer earlier in the game. Zerbrug into his dribble. Now back out Jackson. Tried to pass it in, wow, what a read. Allen Hill gets the steal, Gianni Maley not gonna catch him, he gets the bucket. 21-17 Fitch now. So fast is Gianni Maley. 
especially in that open floor. Ramir Hawkins, dish over to that wing. Jackson now to Zerbrug. McClendon goes into his dribble. Cross court pass, Zerbrug takes the baseline, goes up with the shot. Whistle was blown, we'll see who the foul's addressed to. They're gonna say that's on Marcel Finkley on the arm. In the act of shooting, two free throws coming up, Zerbrug. As Finkley gets tagged for it, that's his second now in the first half. 3-11 to go, second quarter. First one is good, and Zerbrug gets the Aviators back within one possession, trail by three. Darius Rodriguez has checked in for the Aviators. Kendall Ziegler, Carter Owens also back in for Fitch. Two for two at the trip to the line for Zerbrug. And it's a two point game here from Austin Town. Gianni Maley utilizes the screen of Alex Hill, then backs out. Maley gets trapped defensively, gets pressured defensively, I should say, by McClendon. Able to get it out. Alex Hill tried to fight for the board, able to clench it, though. Running the other way, here's Alliance. Ramir Hawkins dishing right back out. And Rodriguez, they say, shuffled the feet and traveled. Far sideline official making the call. Turnover from the Aviators back to the Falcons. Low foul in the first half. Three called on the Falcons, one on Alliance. Nice steal by the Aviators. Looking for the quick score. They get it. Ramir Hawkins gets it with the foul. Counted and one. We're tied up at 21. A pair of blackjacks on the board with 239 in the second. And one attempt, Ramir Hawkins. Wow, no movement on that free throw attempt. Looked like a knuckleball as Hawkins retakes the lead for Alliance. Allen Hill able to get it out to Kendall Ziegler and Aviators. A lot of them near that midcourt stripe. They say one of them had a bit too much contact. They address it to J.R. Jackson for his first foul. Only the second for Alliance, 235 first half. Two and a half to go, Gianni Maley. Falcons with possession, trailing by a point. Alex Hill, trouble handling it. Couldn't get the handles on it. Extra possession, J.R. Jackson. He loses the handle on it. They get it right back out. Ramir Hawkins kicks to the corner, finds McClendon. McClendon into his dribble, now to Jackson. 2-10 and ticking. And the foul to be called on the floor, not in the act of shooting, they say. It is on Kendall Ziegler. Keep it with Alliance. They're going to be inbounding from the baseline. Brendan Zerbrug, the inbounder, dishes to that wing in McClendon. Marquavia McClendon now out to Ramiro Hawkins. Two minute drill, first half. Zerbrug, dish over, wing three, up and in, knocking it down, J.R. Jackson. And it's a four point aviator lead. Back and forth we go. Lead swings like a pendulum. Little too much contact they say by the aviators defensively at a minute 42. They give Alliance their third foul of the game as Deshaun Vaughn Inbounding from the baseline. Vaughn looking for the pass, gets to Carter Owens. Owens feeds back out Gianni Maley. Maley cuts into the lane but can't find a finish. Pretty cut. Too strong handed on the finish attempt. Diego Allen has the soft touch though the other way and the lead to a half dozen for Alliance. Sean Vaughn to Maley. 70 seconds, first half. Fitch trailing by two possessions, six points. 
We now enter the final minute of the second. Almost losing the handle, does lose the handle. Ramir Hawkins comes up with it again. Coast to coast try, Diego Allen couldn't find the shot but gets the foul called and a pair of free throws gonna be coming up for Allen. And a technical foul being addressed to Austin Town Fitch as well. So a few free throws gonna be coming up. And the actual foul, the foul, the shooting foul is called on Carter Owen. So he's gonna be addressed with one as well. So you get to elect a different free throw shooter for the technical free throw, but Diego Allen has two free throws for the shooting foul violation. And I believe those ones are gonna be the ones that are gonna be shot first, and they will. And he banks home the first of two attempts, Diego Allen with an empty post. Takes a seven point lead for the Aviators as he now has seven himself. First, or second one I should say, in and out on the attempt so he splits the pair. But now the technical free throw to be shot by Brendan Zerbrug and a chance for an eight point lead now at 53 and a half in the second. Zerbrug can't get it, so a one for three trip at the line. And one more attempt now for Zerbrug, looking to split it 50%. And he does, and it's an eight point game in favor of the Aviators. Ramir Hawkins able to keep it on the right side of the court. 40 seconds left in the first half. J.R. Jackson gets into Diego Allen. Cam Jaros unable to recover defensively. Diego Allen got that front shoulder in front and it was over after that. 10 points is the lead for the Aviators starting to really distance themselves. Turnover from Fitch and the Aviators really starting to take hold of the momentum here at the end of the first half. 24.9 to go. Alliance likely to hold for their last shot. Ramir Hawkins, 15 seconds of ticking. McClendon now to Jackson. 10 seconds, J.R. Jackson. Offensive foul call, Diego Allen. Gonna get tagged for it. Near side official making the call on that one, 7.7 7 to go, second foul for Diego Allen now. And they're gonna pull him off the floor with 7.7 7 to go, don't want him to pick up and an unnecessary third foul before the half, trying to protect the foul trouble for the second half. Five seconds left. Gianni Maley, full head of steam, stops, pops, looks for the finish, gets the whistle blown and the foul called. So a couple free throws coming up for Gianni Maley before the end of the half. And the foul, I believe, was addressed to Darius Rodriguez. Chance to cut this to a single digit deficit before the half, Gianni Maley for a pair. No time left on the clock, so we go to halftime regardless after these two attempts. First attempt missing as Maley looks to split the pair. And the second one can't find the mark, an empty trip. Going into halftime as the Falcons have a bit to talk about. Trailing by 10 to the Aviators. Alliance with all the momentum on the road as we go into our 10 minute halftime clip as we thank all of our sponsors that are able to make this game and many others possible for you to watch free at your homes. Thanks again to our wonderful sponsors. As we go into our intermission, we'll be back with the third quarter, second half and more right after this on YSNlive.com. 21 News delivers the news as it happens, using the latest technology from where it happens. 
on air, online. A Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the 21 News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. 21 News, the Valley's only locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. How lucky are we to have not one, but two 18-hole Donald Ross Championship Golf Courses right here in our backyards. Mill Creek Golf Course was selected by Golf Week as one of America's 30 best municipal courses, continuing to challenge golfers of all levels and featuring golf instruction by PGA professionals, a state-of-the-art practice range, a PGA of America recognized pro shop, kids programs, and a relaxing grill room for a memorable golf experience. For more information or to schedule a tee time, visit millcreekmetroparks.org. Reliability, innovation, scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one, take that one extra step. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day is ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root, and here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University, and proud. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Versetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Sakui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit WRSWealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dawg. Go Cats, go Dogs, go Tigers. Change, this one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. 
for all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInsurance.com or find us on Facebook. <laughs> Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our family's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life right here where you live. Let's face it. Buying a home is one of the toughest things you'll ever do. At Forever Homes, we are licensed realtors that specialize in representing our clients in the purchase and sale of single family residences and income property in Columbiana County. We truly love this area. We were born in this area and we pride ourselves on the knowledge of transactions, school districts, neighborhoods, and related services. So the next time you need to buy or sell your home, make it forever. Forever Homes Realty. We believe expectations are made to be exceeded. At the new Toyota of Warren, it's about more than just getting a great deal. It's about service you can count on and a friendship you can trust. Year after year, we've done what we do best. We've gone the extra mile so you could too. Because we know it's just not about buying a new car. It's the start of a new adventure. Toyota of Warren, driven by you. Locally owned and operated, Sheely's relaxed shopping experience means browsing and lounging is always encouraged. Find Flex Steel and more at Sheely's Furniture and Appliance, because the best things in life happen at home. Every customer has a story, and at Greenwood Chevrolet, we are committed to making sure it ends with you in the right vehicle. I get to be part of somebody's adventure, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their finances. They trust me to take care of them, and they trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Hi, this is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local, independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care, and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student athletes in the Valley. You're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. House troubles can attack anytime. When trouble strikes, call Mighty Mike. Your hometown hero is on his way. HVAC causing havoc? Has your furnace gone mad? Mighty Mike Heating and Cooling will save the day. Commercial or residential, 24-7. For quality service you can depend on, call your hometown hero. Call Mighty Mike. Hi, I'm Colin Chupa. And I'm Kelsey Clem from K-Squared Marketing. Our boutique marketing firm specializes... <laughs> Second half of action, we're rolling right back here into Austintown Fitch High School. Aviators, Falcons underway. It's a 10-point Alliance lead. And look at Alliance just 
getting extra possessions. Diego Allen almost brutalized the rim on the attempt. Cutting through the lane, he's able to touch pass it, or touch it right back in with the bucket. And Coach Beanie not hesitating at all, calling a timeout right out of the gates. The lead standing at a dozen, not liking the look defensively from the Falcons. We're gonna take a quick timeout as well. Thank our friends over at Myers Family Insurance. Fall is in the air. The kids are back to school, crowds are cheering for the home team, and Myers Family Insurance is prepped for another crazy Medicare season. Every year there's changes, some big, some small, so it's important to have a conversation to make sure your plan is going to meet your expectations for the coming year. Give our team a call today to schedule your annual review. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Or visit us on the web. Check us out online at MyersFamilyINS.com. Out of the Falcon timeout, it's Fitch Basketball. Austintown desperately needing to find a rhythm on offense as Alliance continues to deepen the deficit for the Falcons now at 12. And they call Diego Allen for the push and the attempt trying to get the ball. That's three now on Allen. And coach not gonna waste any time. Wanna pull him off, don't wanna get him into foul trouble. And 7.31 left to go in the third. This game at a teeter point right now, and you want to make sure you have him for crucial minutes. And Carter Owens, clap of the hands after he finds the distance shot again. Second of the game for Owens. He makes it a nine-point game, back to a single-digit deficit for Fitch. Running Zerbrug. Works over to J.R. Jackson. Now to Zerbrug. Jackson now in that corner, goes to the block, tries to pass through the lane, it hits a few Falcon hands. Ends up Austin Town possession. Deshaun Vaughn splits the defense, and the whistle is blown. What? Defensively, let's see who it's gonna be on. They say it's on Zerbrug. Two quick fouls here for the Aviators in the first 70 seconds of the game. Second foul for Zerbrug. Second foul again for the Aviators, second half. Ball hits the ground in a few hands, but ends up a Carter Owens open look for Allen Hill. Awareness by Deshaun Vaughn for the dish. Give him the assist. Alliance lead is now cut down to seven. Looking to get it right back to double digits and doing so with a big bucket. Darius Rodriguez finds it from the top. Huge answer from the Aviators to counter five consecutive points from Fitch. Off that screen to Finkley. Marcel Finkley with Rodriguez on him. Now to Deshaun Vaughn. Vaughn dishes cross court. Carter Owens gets it. Owens goes over top. Allen Hill looking for the lane. Double dribble is called. 5.56 to go and the turnover back to Alliance. Quick passing, ends up with Zerbrug. Bounce, not friendly, and the foul from the backside. Baseline official making the call. And they say it on, Markavia McClendon. That's three fouls for Alliance now. Here in the second half. That's off the hands though. Turnover from Fitch right back to Alliance. Falcons might have to look to make up some of the deficit at the foul line if they can keep drawing the fouls of the Aviators, but a very low fouling first half for Alliance. Played a very clean brand of defense through 16 minutes. Nice cut, Ramir Hawkins just couldn't finish it with the soft touch attempt. Under five and a half to go. Finkley keeps it, keeps it alive now to Deshaun Vaughn. Vaughn, nice pass, Allen Hill finds the bucket. Over top of the defense, Allen Hill bleeds to the baseline once again and gets loose. 
Pass into the elbow, right back out to the corner. Rodriguez drive inside, gets blocked, gets it right back. Traveling violation is called. And I think they're saying it was after the block and recovery took a couple steps to draw the foul, or tra travel, excuse me. Far sideline official, near sideline official rather, making the call. Owens to the baseline on the cut and a bucket. Give him the layup attempt and a six point lead now for Alliance. Whistle blown and a full timeout called by the Aviators as looking to protect their lead and add on to their advantage. 4.39 left to go in the third. Ty Bartel, YSNlive.com. There's just no feeling like when you actually can get somebody in a vehicle that they think is not attainable. I see myself as more of a modern or next generation salesperson. You know, I just enjoy, you know, being there throughout the sale, after the sale. We're going to make sure that everything about that vehicle, you know, from start to finish is the right one for you. I'm Jim Conlon and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. We, of course, always thank our sponsors, such as Jimmy Sutman and the Purple Cat. And, of course, if you want to join the sponsor team here at YSNlive.com, become a sponsor yourself, you can go to YSNlive.com slash advertise to find the package that best fits you. In and out attempt for J.R. Jackson, but an offensive board for Alliance. And Ramir Hawkins has the ball now. A look, a three-point attempt, but left it on the rim. Foul on the second chance attempt, and I think it was Deshaun Vaughn. No, Carter Owens. Both Vaughn and Owens in the area. Owens gets tagged with it. First foul of the half for the Falcons, coming at 417. In the act of shooting, pair of free throws coming up for Alliance, and the first one is good for Jackson. Seven-point lead, three possessions separate. Aviators and Falcons. Two for two at the line, J.R. Jackson. Good trip for the Aviators. Oh, run it right back, gets the steal, and he'll get two more now at the line for a chance to make it a 10-point lead again. Foul got called on Carter Owens again. So nice, they want to do it twice. Run it back for the Aviators. J.R. Jackson at the line for two. 4-12 now remaining in the third. And Jackson in and out with that attempt. Alex Hill now to check in for Carter Owens who picked up his third foul on that exchange. Wanting to save Owens for some potentially more crucial minutes down the stretch. Three for four in the last four attempts for Jackson and it's a nine point lead. Finkley, full head of steam to the bucket. Bounce pass, J.R. Jackson into the free throw line, right back out, Ramir Hawkins. Hawkins with Finkley on him defensively, screen set, now feed right back to Hawkins, off the touch. Driving inside, backing down, Jackson kicks out. Looking for a lane, Ramir Hawkins. Oh, he's able to get himself into the lane. No finish, Rodriguez. Rodriguez kicks out to McClendon. Still Alliance basketball, they keep it alive. The floater, the finish. Nine point lead back for the Aviators and a nice floater for the bucket, 3.15. Deshaun Vaughn splits the defense, picks up a foul in doing so. And they're going to call that one on McClendon. Five, 
Quick pass, shot attempt, and a bucket for Maley. Pass and shoot, Maley makes the bucket. Three minutes to go in the third. Seven point Aviator lead. Ramir Hawkins. McClendon now looks for the lane, kicks to the corner, three pointer on the way. No finish to be had, Allen Hill gets the board. In transition, Marcel Finkley coast to coast. Oh, what a nice finish on the layup attempt. Marcel Finkley makes it a five point game. Pass into the lane, back cut, no finish, just off the rim, offensive board, splits the defense, J.R. Jackson. Patience pays off, the wait, the delay, the find, the lead back to seven for Alliance. Nice cut the other way, wow, Gianni Maley with a heck of a take, going into the trees and finding a bucket. Couple starters, Kevon Davis, Diego Allen, Ready to check back in for Alliance. Brendan Zerbra goes to the corner, kicks over now. J.R. Jackson, push is called. And I think this one on to Sean Vaughn. And it is on Vaughn. Substitutions come in for Alliance. Second foul for Vaughn. Minute 41, third quarter. Zerbra gonna be inbounding. Cam Jaros. The matchup for Diego Allen. He comes back in for Allen Hill, who gets some rest now on the Falcon bench. Zerber goes to the backcourt, getting it to Ramir Hawkins. J.R. Jackson with the left, can't finish. Second chance attempt and the foul called as Kevon Davis draws the whistle. Looking to extend the lead once again for Alliance, sitting at five. Two possessions, but a chance to make it three possession. Few bounces and bouncing out on the first attempt for Kevon Davis. Davis splits the pair and makes it a six point lead. Under 90 seconds to play, third quarter. Fitch trails by six. Sean Vaughn gets it inside to Alex Hill. Alex Hill had the mismatch and they get the foul called on J.R. Jackson. Second foul on Jackson, fifth now on the Aviators. Deshaun Vaughn, corner three. Oh, he nailed it. What a shot, Deshaun Vaughn. And it's a one possession game, three points separating the two squads. Tipped out of bounds, Vaughn. Mark Kuevi and McClendon. Like a scene from Hoosiers. Saw this actually earlier at a Waterloo girls basketball game. First time I'd ever seen it live happen in the game. Only way you're gonna get this broken is if someone plays up, two players sneaking up for the trap. Of course, always aware, looking at and scanning the floor, Ramir Hawkins for the quick pass out. Gonna wait and burn it out for the last possession. We see a lot of teams use it too. Utilize the possession game and utilize the clock, especially for final shots. 13 seconds and ticking, Alliance goes to work. Ramir Hawkins gets the pass over to the wing. Extra pass, Davis. Stops up, block shot, can't get the finish. Diego Allen has a bunch of aviators and fly Falcons take to the sky. A whistle is blown, and I believe it's on Alliance. 
much to the aviator faithful dismay. And Carter Owens coming in for Cam Jarrells. 5.9, Fitch has a chance to tie it up, trailing by three. Deshaun Vaughn gets it out, tries to pass over to Marcel Finkley. Shot is up, couldn't get the bounce in, almost sunk in the half court buzzer beater. We got a final quarter of play in store for you here from Austin Town. Eight minutes to go. We'll be back with all the action on YSNlive.com right after this. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Sakui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit wrswealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dawg. Go Cats. Go Dogs. Go Tigers. Welcome back, everybody. Fourth and final quarter getting ready to get underway here from Austin Town Fitch High School. Been nothing short of a great one here between the Alliance Aviators and the Austin Town Fitch Falcons as a battle in the skies has not disappointed here on Friday night, boys basketball night on the network. Falcons ball trailing by three to start the fourth. Gianni Maley to Deshaun Vaughn. Vaughn drives with his left, swing pass out to Finkley. Finkley stops for the elbow, jumper pops and finishes. It's a one point game here in this non-conference matchup. McClendon to Davis inside Diego Allen. Diego overshot on that attempt. Falcon basketball chance to take the lead here in the fourth for Fitch. Finkley out to Vaughn. Vaughn guarded by Kevon Davis. Backs up. Full head of steam. Momentum into the lane. Passes out. Carter Owens pass out to Maley. Free throw line jumper. Left it short. Davis with the board. Alliance by one and possession. Get it over to McClendon. McClendon tries to get the pass out. It's stolen away by Maley. Gianni Maley now on the run for Fitch. Corner three. Deshaun Vaughn left it short. Couldn't get the rebound, but able to track it down. Owens back to the corner. Other corner. No. Inside. Owens gets to the line. No. Can't get the bucket. Second chance attempt is no good. And a whistle is blown in the midst of all the rebounding and grabbing. They say a foul called, I believe, on the Aviators. And they do say it's on J.R. Jackson, his third. Last foul to give for Alliance. Next one puts Fitch in the single bonus. Quick inbound, pass out to Maley. Fitch trails by one with possession. Carter Owens lines up the three, leaves it well short on that attempt. Looking for his third attempt, couldn't get it. Oh, what a steal. Deshaun Vaughn and a steal right back. Anything you could do. I could do better, Kevon Davis gets him right back. Six and a half to go, fourth quarter. Pass inside, nice pass. Zerbrug, reverse attempt, no good. Rebound, Alex Hill. Here comes Maley now at 6.20 and ticking. Both teams, like they've been shot out of a cannon since the opening tip. Operating super fast with the exception of a Hoosiers moment that we had at the end of the third. Finkley. Swing over to Maley. Maley scans the floor. Back to Vaughn. Takes the three. Vaughn can't get the lead as the ball hits the hands of Alex Hill but ends up with the Aviator Zerbrug. Six minutes in ticking. A one-point game. Last game of the regular season here from Austin Town. Ramiro Hawkins. Pass inside. Able to track it down. Rodriguez now back out.
Timeout going to be called by the Aviators at 5.35 here in the fourth. That'll be the third timeout taken by the Aviators, leaving them with two. Four left for the Falcons. 5.35 left in the fourth. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Colin Chupa. And I'm Kelsey Clem from K-Squared Marketing. Our boutique marketing firm specializes in media planning and buying, public relations, event marketing strategies, and strategic sponsorships. We can integrate our services with your existing game plan, or we can be your entire marketing team. Your goals, our game plan. Let's, Let's win, win together. together. Call K-Squared Marketing at 330-623-2730 or visit ksquared.marketing to learn more. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Alliance, Austin Town, Falcons, Aviators. Been a great game through three plus quarters of play. 535, all that remains in the final quarter. A single point separating these two squads. Aviators up with the ball. Kevon Davis switching back and forth. Lost the handle. Marcel Finkley has it. Head of steam, stopping, popping, free throw line jumper in and out, and Falcons just cannot find that lead here in the fourth. Still looking for it, still trailing at 5.15 and ticking. Ramir Hawkins works over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez over to Kevon Davis, now extra pass J.R. Jackson. Zerbrug into the lane, Zerbrug looks for the finish. Second chance attempt, good. J.R. Jackson gets the bucket. Three-point lead for the Aviators. Gianni Maley, they work it over to Sean Vaughn, looks for the tie, and he gets it. Knots it up at 46, the game-tying three by Deshaun Vaughn. And boy, oh boy, sweaty palms time here in Austin Town. Both schools, both programs, both fan bases. Hanging on to every pass, dribble, and shot from both teams. Davis out, Jackson three. Can't get the lead for the Aviators. Rebounded Falcons. Oh, the pass is out. Able to get the full court score and a two point lead. Marcel Finkley puts the Falcons in front. J.R. Jackson with the dribble over to Hawkins. Halfway through the fourth. Hawkins has it, splits the defense. Nice pass, Davis can't get the call. They're looking for a foul call. Nothing to be had that time by the officials. Three forty-five. Falcons by two. Gianni Maley has it. Maley into the lane. They whistle the shot off. They say it was on the floor. It's going to result in free throws anyway, but it's a one and one attempt instead of two, as it would be for the act of shooting. Diego Allen got tagged for it. Or no, they're saying J.R. Jackson. That's the last foul that was addressed. PA announcer called for Diego Allen, but I believe it was J.R. Jackson according to the scoreboard. That's the fourth foul addressed to Jackson. And Gianni Maley makes both in his one and one attempt. And it's a two possession lead, four points for Austin Town. Three thirty left here in the 3-3-0 as the Aviators trail by four pass goes to no one and a mistimed error that time by the Aviators and the pass out of bounds gives it back to the Falcons. Kevon Davis checks out, J.R. Jackson back in. Despite the four fouls, gonna roll the dice in the final three and a half. You got to, it's a close enough game. You want the win, you want the momentum rolling into tournament time. Gianni Maley cuts in, kicks out, Finkley jab steps into his dribble now. Finkley over to Owen, swing pass over to Devon, Deshaun Vaughn. Finkley finds a driving lane, oh, swatted away, Diego Allen. 
not in this place. Diego Allen denies the paint shot, but the Falcons get it right back on a nice defensive recovery. Under three to play, Gianni Maley. And a timeout, Coach Beanie wants to talk things over with his guys. He has the timeouts to use, just his second utilize in the game. Three left for the Falcons, two for the Aviators, 2.50 left in the game. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. Don't even think about going anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one. 250 remains here in the fourth quarter. Austin Town leads it by four as Fitch taking a fourth quarter lead. 50 to 46. Timeout from the Falcons, left them with three, two left for the Aviators. Back and forth this contest has been through all four quarters. Marcel Finkley drives the baseline, tries to kick out to Allen Hill, the turnover back to Alliance, under two and a half to go. McClendon has the ball, McClendon gets in the lane, McClendon gets the foul, but no finish to be had. Free throws coming up nonetheless for the Aviators. Allen Hill picked up his second. McClendon 4-2. Shots at the stripe, of course, magnified in the waning moments of the fourth. And a big first attempt make for McClendon as it makes this a one possession game yet again for Alliance. McClendon gets the friendly bounce on the second attempt. And the lead just two for Fitch. Gianni Maley goes over to Vaughn. Vaughn gets the corner in Finkley. Finkley cross court to Carter Owens. Owens runs baseline. Owens gets up and in with the shot. The lead back to four for the Falcons. McClendon, minute 45, Alliance trails by four. Ramir Hawkins gets into the lane, looks for the finish, block is had, gets to Maley, fast break try, the bucket, the six point lead. Austin Town extends it with a minute 30 left. Whistle blown, shot does not count, they say it's on the floor, so an inbound pass now. They call it on Vaughn. Third foul for Vaughn. Last foul to give for the Falcons as next one puts the Aviators in the single bonus. Over top, Diego Allen. Aviators trail by six, Ramir Hawkins with the attempt and the foul called that time. It's gonna be seven fouls, one and one attempt for Hawkins coming up at the stripe. Gianni Maley. Picks up his second. Maley with 16, Finkley with 12, Owens with 10, Allen with eight, and Vaughn with six. The other way, Brennan Zerbrug with eight, Ramir Hawkins with five, Rodriguez with three, Diego Allen with 11, and J.R. Jackson with 14. Six point game. On that first missed free throw, oh, Deshaun Vaughn steps up, nails down the mid-ranger, 
eight point lead for Austin Town. Splitting the defense, nice pass inside, jam it home, Diego Allen. And Allen slammed home the shot on the dunk. Timeout called by Alliance. A full timeout. Thirty second timeout. We get confirmation from the Alliance coaches. Fifty nine and a half left to go in the game. Fitch leads by six. We'll take our final break and be back after this. I've been in a lot of different departments. Um, I love the customers. I'm like the mother hen, gotta take care of everybody, and that includes customers and employees. I try to make people feel comfortable when they come in because we are busy, but I try to welcome them and do whatever I can to expedite the customer I have in front of me to take care of the next one. My name's Chrissy Lilly, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you. Fourth quarter of play, Falcons looking to inbound. They lead by six, get it into Deshaun Vaughn. Now to Finkley. Finkley draws the foul near the wing, burning a few seconds off the clock. 53.4 now in the game. Finkley has a one and one attempt coming up. In and out on the one and one attempt, so the Falcons can extend their lead as it's just a two possession game, 51.9 to go. Alliance basketball, they also have a timeout left. Letting it roll, taking up that time, J.R. Jackson, Ramir Hawkins, runs baseline, gets in Diego, Allen puts up another bucket. Making it a four point game with fours on the time clock. 44.4 to go. Final timeout for Alliance. That's a full one. And this one will be our final timeout here on YSNlive.com. We'll be back with the wrap up and conclusion of this one after this. Let's face it buying a home is one of the toughest things you'll ever do. At Forever Homes, we are licensed realtors that specialize in representing our clients in the purchase and sale of single family residences and income property in Columbia and County. We truly love this area. We were born in this area and we pride ourselves on the knowledge of transactions, school districts, neighborhoods, and related services. So the next time you need to buy or sell your home, make it forever. Forever Homes Realty. <laughs> Where our fandom stretches never ceases to amaze me. We want to shout out Oak from the 585 in upstate New York for watching and supporting YSNlive.com. Cross states, a lot of Falcon support all over the country, and we love to see it too. So thank you, Oak, for continued and constant support of the Falcons and of YSNlive.com. Alliance gets the steal. Oh, big bucket attempt. They get the trip in. Rodriguez gets it. Aviator crowd is insane and the foul is called and Carter Owens will go to the line for a one and one attempt and even bigger that's the ninth foul on Alliance but even bigger than that that's the fourth foul for Diego Allen now 33 seconds left in the game might not necessarily matter but you need him for every second you can get him and you can't really afford him fouling out in a big spot in this and you got to remember we go to overtime you don't get extra or additional fouls. We go to overtime, those four fouls still carry over. Carter Owens, a lethal free throw shooter looking for at least one. Not to be had, Aviators, golden opportunity for a win or a tie. 30 seconds and ticking. Jackson into the lane, no call is had. Oh, that might have been a missed one. That looked like all arms and the Aviators 
Might have a legitimate complaint. Tension starting to rise in this one. As both, both teams, a lot of frustration mounting. Crowds really into it. You can, you can cut the tension with a knife in this one, folks. Heated on both sides. You will have to say a legitimate complaint. No doubt for the Aviators on that. The foul, though, by the Aviators puts Owens back at the line. With that being their 10th foul, it is the double bonus, meaning Owens does shoot two free throws. Aviator crowd letting the officials hear it for the call. Three point game on the first make. Looking to make this a two possession game, Carter Owens. Owens has a dozen and a pair of made free throws gives the Falcons a four point lead with 20.3 to go. 60 second timeout is called here on the floor from the Falcons as we'll keep it right here. Let's take a look at our standings too as we go in to the end of this ball game. Looking at it too, Fitch right on that 11 and 10 mark can go 12 and 10, can go 11 and 11 before the tournament time. Regardless, Fitch at the very bare minimum, a 500 record before they go into that division one tournament. For the Alliance Aviators, 14 and seven, great season. No doubt, nonetheless, it's gonna be a great season regardless of the outcome in this, but there's something about 15 wins in a basketball season that always sits right in a 22 game regular season for teams. You can win 15 games, you're a pretty darn good basketball team. Alliance trying to capture that 15th victory here tonight. Not in the, not a conference game to say the least, but it's still a game that matters as far as momentum is concerned and carrying that in to the tournament. We get out of the timeout, 20.3 remains here from Austin Town. Falcons four point lead, Aviators basketball though. In a back and forth contest from the opening tip, giving you everything you can ask for and more from boys basketball night on the network here on a Friday night. 20 seconds left in this ball game. J.R. Jackson feeds the middle, Ramir Hawkins gets a finish. Boy, oh boy, these Aviators refuse to go down without a fight. And a quick timeout being called by Coach Beanie. He's got him, he's gonna use him. It's a full one on the floor. 9.4 to go, two point lead for the Falcons. They're trying to get the inbound, trying to put it away with free throws. We will take a timeout with the Falcons here and be back after this. My guy keeps it 100, 100% of the time. He wants all 100, won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats, because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% safe, 100% free, 100% love. I can be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting 100% of what I can do. Looking to wrap this one up, 9.4 is what the game clock reads. It's Falcon basketball, two point lead for Fitch. Looking to put this one away against Alliance, Alliance fighting, scratching, and clawing their way all the way to this point in a back and forth ball game. Both teams exchanging leads as we get ready for the finish. As Deshaun Vaughn has it knocked out of bounds and last touched by Marquavian McClendon. Only a four tenths of a second come off and another timeout by Coach Brian Beanie. He's gonna utilize the last one, both teams Gonna have no timeouts left after this. Just a 30 second is all that's left for the Falcons. We'll keep it right here through this. Nine seconds remain, 58-56 Fitch. No timeouts either team. Fitch is in the double bonus. Alliance is in the single bonus. As the Aviators really just gonna be looking for that turnover. Gonna be interesting to see if Alliance elects to pressure the inbound passer or try to double up one of the Falcon free throw shooters, try to ensure you keep the best free throw shooter off the line. 
debatable, of course, on who that would be, but first guess, you would likely think Carter Owens is the one they're trying to get to the line, but you really could take just about any of the four guards that you have on the floor either, and Allen Hill, not a bad free throw shooter in his own right. Foul is called, they're able to get it. In as J.R. Jackson picks up his fifth and will foul out of the game as Brandon Zerbra gonna have to check in for him. Carter Owens is going to the line for two. Owens 4-2, 7.7. He hits that first one to make it a three-point game. That one was big, this one might be even bigger. Trying to make this a two-possession game with time not on the Aviator side. He hits a pair of dagger free throws. Aviators fighting to this point, looking for a three, Zerbrock. Oh, couldn't get the splash home. Allen Hill gets the board, will dribble it out, and it's a Austin Town Fitch Falcon winner and a 60 to 56 win over the Alliance Aviators in game number 22 of the regular season for both squads. Great game through 32 minutes of play, and what more can you ask for from just these phenomenal athletes on the floor? Credit goes out to both squads, and good luck to both squads, of course, in the tournament. For the Aviators, they are the number three seed in the Division II Northeast One Canton District. Their next game, they're gonna be playing the winner of number 14, Canton South, and number 22, Geneva. That game for the Aviators will be happening on Friday, February 24th. As for the Austin Town Fitch Falcons, they're the 16th seed in the Division I Northeast One bracket. That's the Kent District, as they are gonna be playing the winner of number 18, Uniontown Lake, and number seven, Glen Oak, on Saturday, February 25th. Regardless, Alliance will be hosting that matchup on the 24th. It will be an Alliance for the 25th matchup. If Uniontown Lake is to win, it will be at Austin Town. If Glen Oak is to win, the matchup will be at Glen Oak. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this broadcast of YSN Live Basketball. To our proud owners, both DJ Yokely and Brian Scott were able to bring this game to each and every person unable to make it in attendance tonight. To our GM, Steve Leslie, with his work with Bob Seen Park Baseball, YSU Football, YSNLive.com. The many hats that Mr. Leslie wears, and we thank him for every single one of them and all he does for not only us, but the entire Mahoning Valley. To my main man, Elijah Harrell, that runs the board and has run the board for all these Austin Town Fitch boys and girls basketball games throughout the course of the regular season. Couldn't thank him enough and the Falcon media team for all that they do and their help of helping us here at YSNLive.com put on such great broadcast for the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. But most importantly to all of you who tune in and help support these kids, schools, and communities, you guys are really and truly what YSN Live is all about. And so we thank you. If you were tuning in from that Alliance area, supporting your aviators, maybe getting your first taste of YSNLive.com, we'd like to remind you that YSN Live is a completely free service to utilize. And if you want to get YSN involved at your school, contact your school's athletic director or contact us at info at YSNLive. Com. Or if you're right here in the Austin Town community showing your support for the Falcons, we'd like to thank you for your continued and constant support of not only Austin Town Fitch Athletics, but also YSNLive.com or wherever you may be in the sport of high school basketball. This is Ty Bartell bidding you all a farewell and a good night, everybody. <laughs>